Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Thank you very much to all my subscribers and viewers and channel members and everybody that uses my links. I always put links to what you see in the videos down in the description of the video and also in the pinned comments. It is very much appreciated when you use those links and support the channel. You don't have to, but it is very much appreciated. Now this, <laughs> I already know I'm going to love this knife. Everything that keeps coming in from Amate or from Miguron just ends up being unbelievable. Oh, we got a blue one this time. Oh, yeah. Are you are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh, I don't know if I am. I don't know if I can take it. Can I take it? Oh, this is the Amate Glear. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its diamond texture and stonewashed, anodized, holy moly. I don't think I've seen this particular configuration. It's blue or bronze, blue. <laughs> bronze anodized is the color of all of my other ones. This one is a blue, but check it out. It's stonewashed. That gives it a nice look. Now I don't have to worry about scratching it. <laughs> <laughs> I could go ahead and drop it on the concrete, but yeah, uh, I mean, I can't, the, the diamond texture on the M8 knives and some of the Miguron knives is just my absolute favorite when it comes to texturing on titanium. And oh yeah, look at that. We have some good jimping and we have anodized thumb studs. Very, very nice. And the blade is centered. We can see that already. Looks like there is a small titanium backspacer and it does not have a lanyard hole. This is a frame lock with a steel lock bar insert. And yes, this is S90V steel, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It has a captive pivot. It has ceramic ball bearings. It has all that good stuff. And look at this. Very good. Oh, yes. Very nice. Grabby jimping. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Talk about a classic looking knife. A classic in a modern facade. <laughs> is, that, is that the word? Will that be the word of the day? Facade. I mean, I, know I am partial to using the word accoutrement, but yeah, look at this. I kind of like that it has a little bit of roughness to it. It does. It makes me less scared to scratch it or give it a snail trail. I'm just completely blown aback every time I open one of these Miguron or M8 knives that is made with this titanium. Did I say that I like their diamond titanium? Now the M8 Glear is eight and a half inches long. It has a 3.75 inch blade and let's check out and see how much it weighs. And you know, another thank you, th thank you? Is it thank or thank? Another thank you that I wanna give is to everyone that comments on my videos. Even when you don't have an opinion on the knife, you comment on the video, it helps the algorithm, it helps push it out there so more people that haven't discovered the knife community discover knives. By the way, this weighs 4.8, let me quit moving, 4.8 eight, eight ounces. So it's under the five ounce mark and oh, it feels really good. I really doubt I need to check the sharpness from the factory, but you know what? It's always fun. Oh yes. Ooh. Can you hear how clean? Oh yeah, that's, that's the stuff. It is very, very sharp. And here's what it looks like up next to the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. And yeah, that, that knife has been getting a lot of use lately. And of course, you know we gotta show the QSP Penguin. Yes, we're larger than that. It's larger than a medium sized knife. How about, yeah, the Kaiser Escort. You know what? <laughs> I thought it would be bigger. The Escort kind of has a similar style blade shape, not quite as flat back as the Gleer, but I thought this was gonna be closer. How about, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Are we getting in the range now? Wow, look at that. This is not a small one. And I have one more Spyderco, one of my absolute favorites, the Spyderco Manix 2, and it's bigger than the Manix 2. And you know, I'm just gonna grab one more that I know is gonna be at least this long. I'm not sure if this is available. I will have links to all the knives you've seen in this video in the description, unless of course they're not available. There you go. The Kaiser Beglider XL Button Lock. <laughs> to find something a little bit longer than this one. And now that I think about it, here we go. <laughs> there, there, there is a perfect size comparison. The 
Ontario rat number one. Now you know what we're stepping in. Taking a quick look at this, it has, it, they have it listed as high end sandblasting. I don't know what that equivalates to. Equivalates? <laughs> is that a word? But I do like the anodizing on these barrel looking thumb studs. That is very nice. It is good jimping. It is grabby. Of course, you know, I always want a little more of that jimping, but the edges are chamfered off. Very nice. Very, very nice. And let's see what our lockup. The lockup's right there in the middle, about 50%. And I think we already looked earlier that yes, it is centered. And let's check out the ergos. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And let's check out the action ergos. So, oh yeah. Uh, you know what? It has such a good grip. The jimping was done perfectly. I'm not getting any slip left side or right side. There's just enough jimping at the top to grab my fingers, so I have no complaints with that. Given that the old light switch, it comes flying out with a thaw tie. And then the thumb stud, oh yeah, the thumb stud's good. Yeah, I didn't know I haven't showed you the ergo yet. <laughs> I like to skip around. Ooh, it has a nice, very nice snap to it. Oh, can you hear that? Here's a little acoustics. Very nice, clean and crispy. Now let's see how it looks like in my hand. Do we have any hot spots? Uh, no, we don't have any hot spots. I'm not feeling anything at all, so there's no problems with that. In the classic grip, it fits my hand very well. It's nice and comfortable. And then if we go up here, oh yeah, that finger choil, that's gonna work. That's gonna work very nicely. You can see there's a giant spot right here for my finger to fall into. It's almost a little large for my hand, at least as far as this big spot right here, but it does work. It's not uncomfortable. And, oh yeah, I like, I like, you're gonna like the way you look. Why do I <laughs> always say that? And you know, the more I look at this, it's almost kind of a blurple. I called it blue, but I think it's almost, I don't know, you tell me in the comments, what do you think about AM8 knives? Do you like them? What do you think about the texturing? What do you think about the fit, the finish, the quality? Now this, these run 169. I think for 169 for S90V and textured titanium, a milled titanium clip, which ooh, also has some very nice stone washing on it. I think it's a fantastic deal for what you get. Can we use this fuller to... No, the fuller is gonna be for decoration. I was just wondering if we could do a reverse flick. That would have been really, really cool to add a little extra on there, but we already have two methods of deployment. So there you go. There's the M8 Glear. I don't have any qualms with it. There's plenty of room for sharpening. Um, you, your plunge grind kind of disapp disappears up here. So you have room. I don't see anyone getting this and using it as a hard work knife, but you're gonna be able to because it has really good lockup. And because it's a frame lock, your hand's gonna make sure that it stays locked up. So that is very, very cool. I appreciate all of your comments and all the comments you're about to make right now and hitting the thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss B's Blades Live at the Hive, make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell button. That way you'll get notified a half an hour before the live starts because you know, just saying we do some giveaways there and that's some people do show up for that and then they discover the knife community and how fun it is to hang out on Friday nights. So go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again in the chats or the comments or the live streams, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.